In this video, we will create the search uh, engine page and we will as well create the app bar of this page. Okay, so if we will go inside the Explorer. Right here, we will click on library, new file, and we will call this one the search page dot dart. Here we go. Next step we need to do, I will put this on the side and I will say import and we'll use once again the material like this. Next step, we need to create the class and this class will be a stateless widget. Why a stateless? Because we will not have any user input inside this page. Okay, let's say stateless and we will use the stateless W that will create everything for us, all this. And we'll say this class search page. I will remove the key because we will not use it. And I will replace the container by a scaffold like this. This scaffold will take um, a custom scroll view and will not take a regular app bar. First of all, we will make uh, this application go inside this page so we will see what happened. I'll go back inside the Explorer. In the main page where we choose where to go, we will say, so I will put this on the side. What we will need to say is if it is the first page, then go to the other one. So as you can see right here inside the body, where to go. Instead of saying home page, we will say search page. We will need to go on the top, import once again the search page like this. Once you have import the search page, you can go back inside the body. So if you go right here, you should find the return body with your current page before. And we will say if it is, if the current page is equal equal to one, then put the search page. So search page like this. Otherwise, put the home page. So the it is this is a question mark, sorry. So it say if the current page is equal to one, then put the search page, otherwise put the home page. And right here, when we click on the icon, we say that the current page is one. So when we go there, we are going inside the search page and the home page. That's it. So uh, what we will do next is work on this page. In this search page right now, what we will add is something special and we will need to go inside the body to add a certain app bar. You will learn a little bit about it. You will see it, it's pretty nice. So. We will use the, uh, first of all, we will use the custom scroll view, as I said earlier, custom scroll view like this. And in this custom scroll view, it will take a sliver. A sliver, it's a little bit like the, the children, but with some sliver. Okay, I will format document. Sliver, it's a little bit more advanced concept, but I'm sure you will understand and you will like it so much. Okay. The first app bar, it's called none, it's not anymore the app bar, but it is the sliver app bar. Like this one. And you will see the sliver app bar have a little tweak inside, a little special thing. Okay. Inside this sliver app bar, first we will call the title. And the title will be a, a search engine. Okay. So we will use a text form field. We have already learned about this one text form field, okay? And in the text form field, we will use the decoration argument that will send us the input decoration like this widget. So I will format document once again, and inside this input decoration, we will need, so as you can see, we have the information to write, to write inside the, the page. In this input decoration, we will put a prefix icon, this one. The prefix icon will take an icon widget and this icon widget will use inside the icon data and it, it is icons.search. So now we have a little search uh, icon before. That's nice. 
Next step, it will be to add a int text. So I will say int text, int text, and this int text, if we go over, it take a string directly. So we give him a, a string saying search. I will put the comma, format document, and then as you can see, we are, are not able to see it, and this is because we have some text inside. But when you are when you have nothing, you will see the search. This is the purpose of the hint text. Inside, we will add the content padding, and we will say this will be edge and sets uh, dot all. And this edge and set dot all will need to be zero. And in this case, you will see that the text will go on the top, and you will see why soon. Okay, so I will put the comma, I will format document, and then I will use the border, and this border take a out line input border. So I know it's pretty uh, hard to remember all this stuff, but this is why uh, we have our video that you can come back and rewatch and every time. So we use the output uh, input border. In this one, we will use the border side. Border side, and this one will take uh, border side dot none. So you will see that we, we don't have border anymore. Next, we will use the border, oops, border radius. Border radius, this will take a border radius dot circular, and this will be 10. So as you can see, it will be a little bit more curvy right here. It's hard to see because it's white, but uh, this is now curvy because of this. Next step, what we'll need to do is to put a fill color just to see it a little bit better. So I will put the comma right here, I will format my document, and then I will be able to add the fill color. So fill color will be a colors, oops, colors dot from RGBO, and this one will be 220, 220, and 220. So this will be a color pretty much close to white, like this. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit. So as you can see, we cannot see it right now, and this is because we need to add the filled as true. So this is the filled argument saying, do we want to see the fill color? And we say true, because we want to see it. So as you can see, we have a little bit uh, white dark. Good. Next step that we will need to add inside this sliver app bar will be an icon at the end. So let's add this icon and this one will be at the same level as the title. And it is the action like the normal app bar. So we use the icon button and inside we have the argument icon that have the icon our uh, widget with the icons dot, and we can use the person add like this. I format document, I change my null for an empty function, and then I put my comma and format document once again. So right now what we have done is we have created uh, this bar like that uh, for the search page. Okay. Uh, after that, what we can do is we will use uh, on the next video another app bar, but to display the categories of the image that we can see. So see you on the next video. Bye.